The story of Monica Kimani's murder and tonight, the investigating team has turned a new leaf. DNA analysis reports now shows that the prime suspect, Joseph Irungu, was at the scene of the crime. The report points at a possibility of Monica Kimani and Joseph Irungu having uh, had sexual intercourse on the night she died or a rape incident occurred that night. Our investigations reporter Brian Obuya reports on this and other leads and progress on the murder in Kilimani. For a man who was positively identified by four people in a police parade at the Kilimani police station, a man who earlier claimed he was shot by armed robbers, but whose girlfriend, Citizen TV presenter Jackie Maribe, confessed shot himself, and one whose alibi on the night Monica Kimani died does not add up, the latest findings mean more trouble. DNA analysis of samples taken from the scene of crime, including fingerprints, have pointed back to Joe Joey Joseph Irungu. Samples of semen drawn from Monica's genitals also match those of the prime suspect, Joseph Irungo. The samples indicate a sexual act between the suspect and the deceased could have occurred on that fateful night before the 29-year-old was killed and her body dumped in her bathtub. The report shows a possibility that Monica could as well have been raped in her house number 8 on the second floor of Lamuria Gardens Apartments, but the latter presents itself as an unlikely event because, according to investigative sources, Irungo entered Monica Kimani's house, greeted visitors, and made his way to the kitchen where he served himself a glass of wine before coming back to the sitting room and thus presenting himself as a man who knew his way around. Details have also emerged showing that the two could have been dating. Samples from Monica's nail tips have also matched those of Joe Irungo. The samples thus suggest a struggle ensued before Monica's throat was slit. Investigations suggest that Irungo was the last person seen leaving the apartment where Monica lived in Kilimani. Further, mobile phone communication shows that a few hours after Irungo left Monica's house at Lamura Gardens of Dennis Pritt Road, the suspect called and sent messages to at least four people. It is those four people that KTN News Crime and Investigations Desk Tonight learns are being sought by police for interrogation. Those people include a doctor, a former radio presenter, and a politician. TV journalist Joaquim Maribe, Irungu, and their friend Brian Kasaine, who police say is the owner of the gun Irungu used to shoot himself, are being held by police. The investigators linked to the prosecution of the murder case say they are taking their investigation to South Sudan with detectives planning to visit Juba, where Monica lived and worked. Investigators are working to unravel what Monica carried on September 19th before she left Juba for Nairobi. They also want to know what she did for a living, her earnings, the source of her overwhelming wealth, even as the names of top South Sudanese government officials start to creep into the story of her life. Brian Obuya, KTN News.